Hey guys, first of all, this video is graciously sponsored by Squarespace, more on them later. Second, just a reminder, my Vegan for Good digital course is coming out January 2nd. And for those first 10 days of the launch, you'll be getting the course at a major price promotion and the price will never be that low ever again. If you wanna be first to know details, sign up for my email list by going to my website and clicking here, and you'll get a free mini ebook when you sign up. I cannot wait to share this course with you guys. I've put my heart and soul into it. Okay, on to the video. <sighs> Good morning, last minute, deciding to do a little vlog. Don't judge the new haircut right now because whew, we had one of those rough nights. Um, it was just like, I actually have, maybe I'll do like a full segment in this vlog about our new sleep situation because I feel very encouraged um, about about uh, sleep, about his sleep. And he, he's actually getting a lot better. I think he just like randomly is starting all of a sudden working on a new tooth or two. And he was awake for two hours from 1.30 to 3.30. Eric and I were like, bubs. And I will tell you our trick. Stay tuned for the trick that actually got him to sleep so you could try it out for your baby. It's like a trick I heard and it totally works. Oh my gosh, it's a bully right now. <laughs> yes, I cut my hair. Here's the thing. I really wanted blonde. Like I have not dyed my hair in so, like since maybe a decade. Yeah, since I was in college. I used to self dye my hair. I, I would get it done sometimes. I tried all different colors um, and then I was just pretty committed to the uh, the natural hair. I'll just show you the haircut, but don't judge it because I like you know had a rough night last night, so I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit frazzled and I ooh I don't have any makeup on or nothing. Um, so here's what here okay it's very lightly dyed. It's cute, right? I love having bangs except that they're very hot and I get very um a little anxious about having something on my face, but maybe I'll go like this. This is a look, right? <laughs> anyway, I think the haircut is so cute, but I wanna get it lighter. And actually, I think Chantel, the girl who does my hair, watches. Chantel, you did a fantastic job. It looks really beautiful. I just want to be blonde. <laughs> and I think she's gonna tell me, Hannah, you're gonna have to use bleach. Hmm. But here's why I think it looks darker, is because I have to do a middle part, because I'm doing bangs. When I go like that, look how much lighter it is because the hair, okay, whatever. We don't need to talk about my hair. Girls can talk about hair for far too long. It is a drizzly, gloomy day. Constantly picking up cat hair. Oh, what? You like my new sweatpants? I do too. Um, this is the one Black Friday purchase I made from Mate the Label, because it's. I've always wanted some sweatpants from Mate the Label, and they were so cheap, and I was like, I'm gonna do it, and I really love this like lime color, it's really fun. <laughs> I figured out how to vlog with the baby. I just like used my other tripod um, up on the counter, but he is, he wants to be a part of it so bad. Come here, come here. That's the camera. You can't touch it, it's not for babies. The plan is, I don't have plans, so, we're going to <laughs> have some fun in the rain, inside and outside. Sorry, <laughs> you know the first day after you get a haircut and you can't stop looking at yourself? Like you're so vain. What do you guys think about this situation, the curtain situation? And by the way, I am determined to be the kind of mom that gets dressed every day and wears makeup most days just because it really helps me feel more put together. Yeah, are you the kind of mom that's like sweatpants all day or do you get dressed?
it's so good to get kids outside almost no matter the weather. Um, it's a little drizzly today. It's supposed to rain pretty much all day actually and it's just sort of gloomy but it's so nice out. It's like, let me see how many degrees it is because it feels really good. Yeah, it's 59 degrees so it feels amazing out here. It's just like fresh. Oh, he's like pretty busy with the rocks right now. Maybe I can set you down. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm gonna play on the deck. <laughs> okay, real quick. Okay, this is my sort of approach with hair decisions. I feel like I'm a really responsible person and I make well thought out responsible choices. While I'm more of a heart person, I lead, you know, with my intuition and everything. I like being impulsive with my hair because it's just like something I can be irresponsible with because it's just hair. And if it doesn't work out, who cares? If you remember three years ago, how long ago? Two years ago. I let Cami, my friend Cami Petten, um, cut my bangs and it was so bad. <laughs> it was probably the funniest video I've ever made. I did it for the views and it didn't even get high views. Like what, what, why? Hi, cutie. Hi. I'm now getting ready for nap time. I wish I could like film nap time sometimes because it's just, I don't know. It's like this amazing, wonderful part in the day where we nurse to sleep and we just kind of cuddle for a little bit and I'm forced to really slow down because I have a very high energy personality and I do need someone to um, tell me like, hey mom, like we need to chill for a second. And um, yeah, so I love, I love nursing to sleep and I really take the time, like I don't look at my phone most of the time. I don't look at my phone during nap time and nursing to sleep because, yes? Because uh, I need a rest too, so I look at pre-nap nursing and post-nap nursing as like my rest. I don't nap during nap time, I work. I have so much to do. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up really early like, I have so much to do right now. We, um, yeah, we're getting ready for nap time. We just have a really simple routine. We read one book and my baby has loved books ever since he was five months old. So we read one book, we sing a song, we nurse to sleep, and we've been doing a floor bed. Um, for naps and bedtime. It's just completely, completely changed the game for nap time and bedtime. So if you're someone who's trying to avoid the cry it out method, um, I highly recommend a floor bed. We just got this little futon from my mom's house. Maybe we'll continue this conversation later. I actually wanna do a whole video on our whole sleep process because we are having great success with sleep and we have not been doing cry it out. He is asleep, and if any other mamas are out there, you know, nap time is very precious, so I have to, have to get um, work done while he's napping, so I'm going to edit video while I eat my lunch. I never used to, like, work while I ate lunch, um, because I really value enjoying my food, taking a break, and, and taking time to, like, really eat, but um, nowadays I just have <clears throat> a long list of to-do lists. I just have some leftover roasted potatoes with bell pepper and onions and sauerkraut <laughs> and some red pepper hummus, which is a recipe in um, the ebook that goes with the course that I'm making. And it's cold, it's okay. <laughs> I just don't have time to make anything else. It's fast, it's nutritious, it's filling. That is all I need. Yeah, so I'll be here. We'll connect back later. I'm not setting up this like jungle shot under the plant to be cool. It's just because we have set up the plants on high surfaces so the baby can't <laughs> pull them down and destroy them. Um, I didn't really show this on the vlog yet, but I, um, I finished this room. I finished this room. My husband finished this room. <laughs> so Cosmo just got it from nap and he's a pretty consistent napper and I am so grateful for that. <laughs> he, uh, cool. That's really cool. Here, thank you. He gives me like a two hour nap almost every day. Sometimes two and a half. 
sometimes 245. I ain't complaining. So I thought I would share with you sort of what our process has been for nighttime because we've been just so surprised at how simple of a switch this has been and how helpful it's been for us. The floor bed has been so helpful for a few reasons. First of all, it's so much easier to distinguish between a call where he needs me and just like sleep sounds, so, cause I don't wanna disrupt him if he's still sleeping, he's just sort of making sounds. I think when you're co-sleeping, it's really easy to just like bring the baby to the breast without thinking, even though, oh, they're, they're still asleep, you know? And that's just sort of interrupting their sleep cycle. And also, it's really easy for me to like nurse him and roll away and let him still sleep independently, but I nurse him and give him some milk, some comfort, some, you know, connection through the night and then I can easily sneak away rather than if you sit up nursing and then like laying him in a crib, it's just, first of all, it's not as relaxing. I feel like I have to, it wakes me up more as opposed to just like laying there with him. I can still get rest while I'm nursing him and connecting with him. And then second, sometimes he startles and wakes up if I put him in the crib. But I am like rolling away <laughs> like Tobias in Arrested Development. I don't know if anyone else knows what I'm talking about. And then around four or like anytime after four when he wakes up, I'll just bring him into bed with us. And the snuggles are so nice because I really do love co-sleeping and the snuggles. We just get better sleep when he's on his little futon. But last night I did want to share this little tip. Um, I saw on Hey Sleepy Baby, which is an Instagram account. Basically, on the Instagram account, a lot of people were sharing this little hack where if your baby just won't sleep, they put on Taylor Swift, and I guess babies sleep to Taylor Swift, so I tried it and it worked. And last night, I was like, you know, we're going on almost hour two, and I'm like, why, why is it? Let's put on Taylor Swift. So we put on Willow from Evermore, and we just rocked him and he fell asleep. <laughs> so if you're having one of those nights or one of those days where you just can't get baby to sleep, try evermore. The rest of our day, uh, we are pretty much just going to be getting the house together, trying to complete some things, and trying to get some decent dinner on. I have been really, really lazy with dinners. Not even lazy. I've just been very busy, so I don't have a lot of time to put together like a really delicious and nutritious dinner every night. And so twice this week, I've already gotten takeout, which is so not like me. I was like, Eric, can you get Chipotle? I've got no time. And yeah, today we will redeem ourselves with something fantastic. So finally getting on our afternoon walk. We take a walk every day. I had to rush out the door to get out into the sunlight today because it gets dark around 4.45 and it is now 4.30. <laughs> so uh, in my neighborhood, it's not one that you really want to walk around in the dark, to be honest. Since I've seen you last, it has turned into a bit of a day, a very poopy day, a very, like, I need to throw you in the ba bath kind of poop kind of day. <laughs> And uh, man, it is so hard to exercise patients on little sleep. Mm -hmm. We've been getting good sleep, except for last night. And that's okay. Um, pretty soon my sister-in-law is going to FaceTime us so we can finally meet our little niece over FaceTime. She's in Colorado and um, has had their third baby, a little girl named Olive. And Cosmo gets to meet his new cousin. We're excited to see her and um, pretty soon in the next few months maybe we can see them in real life that would be really nice but um, ultimately I just think it's so important to get outdoors every day and today it just barely happened so here we are we both needed a fresh needed fresh air change of scenery and for me a little exercise why the shirt change because I'm pretty sure I got my baby's poop on my other one. All right, we got our walk in, hooray. Um, that felt really good, just like 20 minutes of walking. 
game changer. And now I need to get dinner on. I really hate making dinner at, like this late in the day. I don't think it is. I just, I feel like, like it's just not gonna happen. I feel like dinner won't happen <laughs> this late in the day. Our general rhythm is right when he wakes up from nap, I'm done with work, and then I make dinner and have it all made so that we can go on our walk, enjoy ourselves, play until daddy gets home, and then we can have family dinner together. That is not today. I'm going to make, I'm going to make some rice and I'm going to make some curried lentils but I'm not gonna follow the recipe because I don't want to just spend time looking at my phone and at a recipe. So I'm just going to throw things into the pot. Hopefully it turns out okay. I love material things because they light up the emptiness around me. Nothing can hurt as bad as human beings and so I'm best friends with these. I got the brand new Nikes on my motorbike I take it up to 90 just to feel alive I'll keep them right until reality is out of sight 93, 94, 95 Wow, I cannot believe I managed it. I made dinner. <laughs> so I have some white rice here and I'm just going to put on, I'm going to put my curried lentils. It's just, you know, coconut, oh, let's start from the beginning. Garlic, onion, ginger, potatoes, cauliflower, zucchini, green lentils, coconut milk, veggie broth, curry powder, black pepper. I think that's it. <laughs> this is my favorite kind of meal. Um, it's one pot, it's curry, it's warming, it's nourishing and filling and satisfying. These are my absolute favorite kind of meal. I'm going to enjoy this with my baby. Eric's at a little work thing tonight, so I'm going to attempt to have a peaceful peaceful dinner where no food is thrown on the floor. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, my favorite website building platform. Squarespace is the best user-friendly way to build your own website that makes it look like it was created by a designer. And now you can extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Hannah McNeely to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.